What up guys, this is the Power of Mushroom coming to you with a video. And in my okay, I didn't do the last video. I had to freaking st stop the thing the broadcast last one because I died. I made a I made a mistake and it, it got me killed. And anyways, where we last left off, technically you guys are seeing part three, but there was a part three already before this, so this is like part three, the sequel. But in the part three, the prequel, we met Aerith's mom. And we had to sneak out of the house, and now we're on our way to Sector 7. Two... Uh... We're gonna do things. We're gonna go back to Tifa's place. But yeah, that that we're, that's where we're heading now. But like I said, I made a mistake and I freaking died, so... Basically what happens right here, Earth is like, Yo, you leaving? Why are you doing that? You're leaving without me. I'm like, alright, cool. So I run through this thing, and speeding through times three speed, and damn it. I ended up fighting- Yep, there's a house. Let's, we're gonna do some magic on this dude. Do some ice magic. Check it out. Bam. Do some braver. When it breaks, boom. 152 damage. 15 damage. Time attack. Boom. Attack. Boom. It's- it's a miracle that we're going- Look, suicide drop. He's freaking attacking the hell out of us. Battle's done. We get a bunch of XP. Bam. We're done. <clears throat> So now we're back where we left off. If I can get down that stupid slope. And how I died was by these guys. These, these freaking Prometheus things killed me in the last playthrough. And I guess just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like editing a video together. Or like cutting some... I don't have a captain card basically, so I'm like... Like... Porting this from Twitch. Alright, hold on, we gotta slow this down because I gotta make some decisions. Uh, how I do the YouTube videos, I just port them from Switch and then I edit them when I port them. If I was doing it on BM, like on the Xbox, then it'd be a little easier to edit them, but I have to port them from Switch to YouTube, so i uh, just do that. Yeah, so I have to slow this down right here, let's speed it up a little bit. Just smack me in the face. You know, we gotta give Aerith some magic. Alright. Let's do that real quick. We're gonna give her some materia. Basically a cure. Uh, let's just give her that. Maybe we can get like a bronze... Or like mithril? Amulets or something? They can ultimately just... When you give them amulets or something like that, I think a gold amulet or... It'll do the trick to kind of give them more materia holding. But right, for right now, as long as she has the heal, healing material, I think we're good. Oh, I think a diamond big bagel is good. Alright. My freaking nose is stuffy. Alright. The gate to Sector 7 is in there. Thanks, I guess. This is goodbye. You want to be alright? Going home? Oh no, whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? Should we take her home? Uh, let's take her home. Isn't that a little out of the way? Yeah, I guess so. Can we take a break? Oh, dang. It's more cutscenes, more cinematic stuff. She's gonna jump on the swing. Yeah? I can't believe it's still here. Nope, never mind the slide. That's right, Aerith. Just get on there. Cloud over here. He shrugs. I wonder if they're going to keep a shrug in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, that'd be pretty cool. Just a random shrug every now and then. What rank were you? Rank? You know, it's Soldier. Well, if we're going by Crisis Core standards, this would be Soldier. Third class? When he started, then he went to second, I think. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend? Oh, dang, some backstory. Here we go. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Guys, close your ears if, uh... You know what, never mind. I'm not going to say anything about Crisis Core. Hey, back there. Tifa. That girl in the car was Tifa? Where's she going? She looked kind of odd. 
Oh, is this the cross-dressing scene? Wait. I'll go on alone. You go home. You go on home. Boy. Oh, dang it. Alright, we're gonna have to follow the chick. I'll come back here. Yeah, I think this is the cross-dressing scene. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we've got to find Tifa fast. All right. Go find her after we save. Check it out. Six minutes of streaming. Save. Bam. All right, let's go find Tifa. I'm pretty sure Tifa's. I hope this is the cross-dressing scene. I my memory's a little fuzzy, but if we can get the cross-dressing scene in here. That that'd be awesome if we can get in this playthrough. I like this video. This is Don Carino's mansion. He's a big shot here in the Wall Market. Listen, the Don doesn't like men, so get the hell out of here. Oh damn. But I'm a. All right. We gotta find Tifa. I forgot. I know there's a way to. Let's see. Nope. Alright, let's go back. We don't have to worry about any. What do you call it? Alright, there's nothing here. We don't have to worry about any enemies. None of them pop out in the city. At least that I know of. Alright, let's go in the end. There's nothing here. I'm frustrating somebody right now. They're like, oh, you're supposed to go over there. I know, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff. We're going to get a metal knuckle for Tifa when she joins our party. The assault gun would be nice. Uh, oh, the mithril armlet. That could be for Cloud. And we need to give freaking Aerith something new. So let's, uh, let's go to equipment. All right, Aerith, you're going to get a mithril rod. And you know what? I'll give you the Titan Bagel. And we're just gonna give you a materia just for the heck of it. Oh, dang it. Alright, let's try in here. It's not there. Alright, I came from here, right? God, okay, I remember this now. God damn it. This is, you have to talk to a bunch of people, basically. Alright, let's just sit down. Alright, let's, let's get some info. You know what? No, let's eat some Korean barbecue. Why not? Mm. 70 bucks. Let's watch them cook fast. And I didn't comment. Ah, right here. Yep. I think this is it. The Honeybee Inn is a private's club. Only members can go in shoo shoo. Welcome. Even the unpopular dweebs like you may meet the destiny here. Wow. You know a girl named Tifa? Pretty fast. Tifa's new, our newest girl, but unfortunately, sh blah, she's having an interview right now here at the Honeybee Inn. It's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Carino's mansion. Don Carino is a famous Delente, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. No, I don't want to talk to you a second time. Wait, what is the other option? Wait, so he's going to take Tifa for a bride. Alright. Let's, uh... God damn it. What? You mean you're two? Yeah, me too. You're Tifa's childhood friend, and you brought a new girlfriend to a place like this? What kind of guy are you? God dang.
Alright. So we got all that stuff going in. I think Aerith is supposed to talk to us. Maybe we're supposed to go up here. Since uh, Don Torino is going to be interviewing Tifa. So let's go. Yep, yeah, right here. Hey, you got a cute one with you. Yeah, I do. It looks like Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. What? No way. He leaves me alone. Why don't you know this kind of place this is? Then what am I supposed to do? You want me to go? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that'll be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But I can't just let you go in alone. Oh, man. Look at this. First, we need to find out Tifa's alright. What's so funny, Earth? Cloud, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. Legit, this is like the biggest plot twist in the entire game. <laughs> Alright. If Final Fantasy VII Remake does not have cross-dressing Cloud, I mean, it it fails. Cross-dressing Cloud needs to be in that game. Alright. So let's... Wait. Oh, damn it, I wasn't paying attention to the words. This is what you get when you don't pay attention to anything. Like, you lose track of what you're supposed to do. So let's go ahead and start finding ways to... Uh, cross-dress. So to start cross-dressing stuff, we need to go to that one clothing store over here. Not there. Maybe up here. Yeah. What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, is simply in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses. And where is your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father. Yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. All right. You can help. You don't bring him back. Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help my old crazy dad. I just don't know what to do anymore. All right. We'll do something. Let's go, Cloud. All right. So now we have to go to the bar. Crap. All right, let's talk. Excuse me, are you the father of the girl in the clothing store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't mean I don't make men's clothes. I don't feel like making anything right now. Cloud, you wait over there for a second. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have a drink or something? You know, Mister, he's always said that just once. He likes to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that. So how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it for us. Yeah, alright. What kind of dress do you want? Something that feels... Soft. And something that... Ooh. We need... I feel like these choice. I forgot, I think these choices affect how Don will, if he's going to choose Cloud or something, so let's get something that's shimmers. You got it? I know, I know I got a friend that has that same taste as him, I'll go talk to him. Dang. And then, hmm, oh really? Uh, hey, you do something for me? There's been someone there, I can't hold it anymore. Oh dude, you're screwed. Let's see, he keeps picking things up, saving, oh, you mean the owner? But yeah, we look at it, just trash. Alright, cool. Um, let's go back in here. Alright. Oh, you there, it's ready. Go try it on. Receive the key. Silk dress. Alright. Whoa, what are you doing? Still not right, a wig, is that what you need? You know? When Cross-Dressing Cloud comes to Final Fantasy VII Remake, we need to be able to design the dress to our liking. I thought you might, so I talked to my friend getting one. You know, the gym. You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go talk to them. Alright. Like you, Aerith. What did you tell them? Does it matter? Anyhow, we got a pretty dress. Alright, cool. Let's go talk to the people at the gym. Some manly men. The gym's not that way. It's over here. Bam. Whoops. Oh snap. Alright, one, two, three squats in a rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. How's this? Dang. 
All right, let's. Are you the one who wants to be cute? Cute. Right. About the wig. Yeah, I heard it, but it'll cost you. Erg. Big bro, the only way you're gonna get that cuter is if you, be if you can beat the big bro. That's right. You've got to compete with us. You're right. Let's do squats. All right, we'll beat you out of this gym. Are you the beautiful bro? <laughs> the beautiful. Oh my god, that's a great gamer tag. What, you didn't know? Always running around saying big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that. Come over here. Fun fact, squats are actually the main training method that soldiers used in Shinra. Just saying. I'll explain the rules. From the ready position, press X to squat. Or square to squat. X to get up and circle to go back. To the ready position. So, square, X, circle. So it's square, X, circle. In that order. Got it. I'm not going to lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. Just be quiet. It's not fair for you to start right away. So you want a little... Nah, I don't need practice. Alright, now let's begin the real thing. Start! Oh my god, my thumb is hurting. Why? He had 17 squats, you had... You gotta be kidding me. No way. What? I got the wig anyway? Hey bro, I was supposed to get that. Oh, damn. Shut up, you have no room to talk here. Uh, big bro's fist still cut a bone, blah blah blah. Alright, we got the wig. Let's go try it on. Again, Final Fantasy VII Remake. We need customizable wigs and dresses and stuff. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Not bad. This may be a new business for me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we should we try. Thanks for showing us. <laughs> wow. Walk more nicely like this, Miss Cloud. <laughs> you mean nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Cloud. I want. I want one. Do you have? Dang. How's this? How about that one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. Aerith, I want this one. I'm gonna go change. No peeking. For some reason, I feel like they would actually, uh... Oh, you know what? Hold on, let's save. Because I don't want to freaking go through this entire cloud thing again. We already cross-dressed him. I should have saved right before the choices, just in case I wanted to get the achievement. Uh, of, like, making... I think there's an achievement to get Dom to, uh... To choose cloud. That's one of the bigger achievements. So... Or trophies, my bad. But let's go. Let's go. Woo a man. Come on. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come on in. Oh, if you only knew. Hey, ladies. I'll go and let the Don know that you're here. Wait here, don't wander around. Now's your chance. Let's find Tifa. Alright, cool. Oh, dang it. Alright, let's take out the speed. Office of Don Kernio. Keep out. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, Tifa's in the basement. Oh, Cloud doesn't want Tifa to know. Tifa? Nice to meet you, I'm Aerith. Cloud's told me a lot about you. And you are... Hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? No, don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up get to get together, nothing more. Don't do that, Tifa. You just friend zone a Cloud. Poor Cloud having to stand there and listen to both of us calling him. Right, Cloud? Cloud? <laughs> no, don't. Oh, great. She knows now. Cloud. Why are you dressed like that and what are you doing here? Never mind. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down. Let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright. Aerith helped me out. Oh, Aerith did. Tifa, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... Ahem. 
I'll just plug my ears. Alright, let's hear it, Tifa. Glad you're okay, thanks for what happened. When we got back from Sector 5 reactor, I saw a weird man. Barry caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when Don's name popped up. Right, Don Corneo. Barry told me to leave the lech alone. But something has been bothering me. I see he wanted the story to straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo is looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then, well... Anyways, I have to be with the girl for tonight. Oh, that's terrible. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but we have two here, right? No, Aerith, I can't involve you. Oh, so that's all Tifa's in danger. No, I don't want Tifa in. It's alright. I grew up in the slums. I'm used to the danger. Do you trust me? Yes. Thanks, Miss Aerith. Call me Aerith. What the heck? Oh, yeah, because she said miss. Alright, so now that we're in their freaking slave sex dungeon, we gotta get out of here. Alright, so once you're in here, we're gonna go through some dialogue and hope that Don chooses us. I wonder what Bear would say if he could see... Ah, Bear's not gonna find out about this, Tifa. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go in. Choose me. It's my dream. Hmm, good splint. Oh my god, this pervert. Now let's see, which girl should I choose? Mm -hmm. This one? Or this one? Oh, dang, it's between me and Tifa. Don't look at me. Don't, don't do it. Oh my god, who's he choosing? God damn it. And it couldn't be me. Oh, it's a sad day. And then we get stuck in here with all these goons playing poker. Hey guys, we got some guests. We'll take a real good care of you. This is all thanks to the big boss, Don Corneo. Hey, three cheers for Don Corneo. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, ladies, are we all, uh, ready? Oh, that's, that's sick. Get out of here. Nope. Duh. Heck, you know, what, what's going on? They're trying to rape me? Come on, dance. Let me be beautiful. <laughs> they say if two people dance together, their hearts will become one. Oh my god, these people are dreaming. What do I do? Do I just, like, let it happen? I forgot. How do you get out of this? Nah, dude. I'm a dude. I get... What the heck? <laughs> Uh, man, imagine all the kids that played this game. Alright, we're just gonna... Oh my god. Do we have to, like, avoid them? At all costs possible? Oh, let's let them chase me around a little bit. Oh, crap. And then, like, the character models look... Freaking creepy as heck. Oh, heck no. Ah! Where do I go? I guess let's try to talk to every single dude here. Oh 
Oh my god. Come on, dude. Hey, what's wrong? Don't make me keep you coming. Nope. Cloud, I'm flattered, but no thanks because. 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 I ain't interested in a bunch of scrubs like you. Dang. What, I bet they got what, like pull cues or something. Oh, dang, what the heck? Right, let's do this. Speed this up. Bam. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, and we got another battle coming. Why not? And I don't know if you can do this, but in old Final Fantasies, or I think Final Fantasy 1 specifically and 2, I think that was previous to this. Yeah, it was the other ones previous to this. When you did magic, you had a choice to, uh, instead of just selecting one guy, and you do a maximum damage with that magic or whatever, you could select multiple people. But it would do, like, maybe a quarter damage. I don't know if that was, like, every Final Fantasy before this one, or if it was just for 1, 2, 3, 4... No, they did in 6 also. Yeah, so I, I don't know if you... Can you do it in this one? I'm not sure. The mysteries. But maybe soon we'll find out as we play the game. Like I said, it's been forever since I've played this. Let's go. Alright. No, help. Oh my god. Aerith, what'd you do? Right, let's go down here. Dang, that dude's like after Aerith. And she killed him. <laughs> I told you, I'm used to danger. To tell you the truth, my heart was pounding. Alright, let's go. Let's go help Tifa. Jerk didn't choose me. I'm gonna teach him. Woohoo, come on, don't be shy. I know, but you know, Don Corneo, I'd like you to explain something. Oh, uh, you mean about that? Don't worry, I'm single. There, feel better now. No, I wasn't asking about that. Wait, not yet? <laughs> oh my god, that's... What's weird is when I played this... <laughs> when I played this, uh... This part... When I was younger... I, my mom saw that and she was, I think... She was like, what the heck? And she was laughing, but it was just... It, it was weird. It was really weird. <laughs> it, it still gets me every time. It's freaking hilarious. Dang, that's just, he's gonna chop it off. No, not that, I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. So reasons Final Fantasy VII Remake should be rated M are for these exact reasons. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was, but that was what I was ordered to do. By whom? No, if I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk, if you don't tell us, I'll rip it off. What? Well, well guys, All right, we gotta establish something. They're they're not talking about anything wrong here. There's talk. They don't even know what they're gonna rip off. Maybe his bed sheets, his clothes, his. If you don't tell us, I'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you, old oh boy? Damn. They're talking about his foot or his pinky toe. <laughs> By breaking the sports holding up. Break the supports, you know what's going to happen, that plate will go ping, and everything's going to go bam, I heard their hideouts in Sector 7 slums, I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6, they're going to wipe out Sector 7 slums, Cloud, will you come with me to Sector 7, of course, Tifa, alright, so after threatening to rip this guy's ding, ding dong off, we're going to just cheese it out of here, why don't you scum like you battle, because I've given up, yeah, because I've got on button life. Buzz wrong. Alright, and this is the president. President Shinra, how are your preparations going? Gahaha, <laughs> smoothly, very smoothly. I assign the Turks to this. President, are we really going to do this? Simply destroy a group of only a few members? What's the problem, Reeve? You want out? No. But as head of the Urban Development Department, I've been involved in the building and running of Midgar. That's why 
Reeve. Flush your personal problems. The mayor's against this anyway. Mayor? He just sits in the building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. Ha ha ha. You're tired. Why don't you go take a couple of days off and go somewhere? I'm Ron Swanson. We'll destroy Sector 7 and report the avalanche did it. We'll send the rescue operation care of Shinra Inc. <laughs> this is perfect. I'm Ron Swanson. He legit looks like Ron Swanson. You alright? Alright, yeah. Alright, let's go check on you. God damn it. Oh, these lizard things were freaking annoying in Crisis Core. Let's take them out real quick. Go back to regular speed. It's weird not seeing everything run like 60 frames a second, just for a mere moment. And then we can also equip Materia to Tifa now, so let's do that after this battle. Well, she just got put in a bubble. Alright, let's slice this crab. Bam! Got smacked in the face. There, there you go, Earth. Just freaking take that bubble like a boss. Damn, crab isn't dying. We got some experience. Did we get any potions from that? No items. Alright. Let's talk to Tifa. You alright, Tifa? Man, this is terrible. Alright. And we get a boss fight. God dang it, Tifa. Not that I had any, but... For some reason, I feel like I did. Alright, so we're gonna do some... We got if we got like ice or lightning damage, I think that would help. Right, let's cheer some people. Come on, Eric. Right. Oh, lightning bolt. Check this out. We're gonna do a little Hadouken here. Hadouken. Psst. Light on the damage, but hey, it works. Does something. Smack him in the face. At one point in time, I had leveled up Aerith so well that her physical attacks would like one-shot everybody. It was just amazing. Until the end of this one. So please, humans, enjoy and appreciate your party members. Alright, now we better start healing. Got healing one here. Got Tifa's hit. Bam. Later on, that is going to upgrade to where we get, like, freaking, I think, three slots? We're going to get a lot of slots as Tifa levels up, so that's good. Check it out. Go. Beat Rush. Bam, bam. And we also got some equipment. We got to equip to Tifa. We got to equip... Air. We have a lot of things to do. This is where the game starts really speeding up now. We're going to start getting into more complex builds and crap like that. And we get our full team, and then we're going to get secret party members that no one knew we could get. Alright, here comes Braver. He should be dead already. That's fake. Cloud freaking cut him in half. Oh, let's use lightning bolt. He's got a sewer tsunami. Check out these 1996 graphics. How do we get? Let's cure somebody. Alright. Yeah. Give the teeth of some heals. Heroes never die. Damn, she's a really good healer. Oh, good. And he's dead. And we got Cross Slash, we got Phoenix down, and we got a cutscene. It's too late, Marlene, Bear, and the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? 
Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Alright, let's do this. And find a save point. Oh, after we equip some stuff to you. Alright, Tifa. I got you a weapon called the Metal Knuckle. Ups your attack by three more points and I'm gonna give you the Mithril Armlet. No accessories right now. And no materia. But that's okay. Because Cloud, you get nothing. I don't even have an extra weapon for Cloud yet. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, can we... Actually, you know what? Let's go up here. We're gonna get this potion. Go back down. Go back down. Up the ladder. Materia. Steel materia. And that is useful. Um, when we get... What's your face? Yuffie? When we get her in the party? Uh, you're gonna give her the steel materia. For some reason, it always works best best with her. Oh, whoops. Freaking materia. Alright. But if you don't have her yet, we're gonna go ahead and equip it to uh, Tifa. Later on, it becomes really useful because some enemies, they hold certain items that... It could be a real pain, what kind of items they're holding. I know some boost their freaking attack and stuff. Let's right, so slow this down. And we got some that they can throw and crap like that. It's just, it's ridiculous sometimes. And some, they actually hold really rare items that you kind of need to kind of craft more things later on. Not, I wouldn't really say crap, but you're going to need them later on for specific battles and stuff like that. It just makes battles a lot easier when you steal certain items and you have those items in your party. Or equipped to your party. Eventually, I'll, pro I'll probably eventually do some grinding off screen because, like, like I said, this is a little ridiculous just taking this many hits to kill one enemy. You, you are gonna have to grind, but I don't feel like I should record that because that would be super boring. It would just be me doing, like, lame jokes, like... Lame commentary. I'll do some lame jokes. Alright. I'm gonna go back down here. I'm gonna go ahead and walk up here. Climb up this ladder. And then we should be up here. Alright guys, well, we made it to... Aerith, you got mixed up in this. Don't tell me to go home. Tifa? No. She's nodding. If we can just get past the trains that aren't lit up, we could be able to get out of here. Alright. Well. This is where you save. Yeah, this is where we save. We've been streaming for about an almost an hour now. That's a long Let's Play. The, the beginning of Final Fantasy VII is going to be really long freaking videos and stuff like that. So, anyways, that's it for this Let's Play. We did we did quite a lot. We cross-dressed Cloud. We had fun with him. We sadly didn't get chosen, which I really wanted to, but maybe next time. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is The Power of Mushroom, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if... As always, you know, remember to like, comment, subscribe, upvote if you're watching on Vidimi. Um, and all my social links are going to be down in the description. I don't know what, I'm doing hand gestures while I'm doing this, and you guys can't even see me. That's ridiculous, huh? Eventually, I do think I'll get a webcam to kind of, like, put my face on there if you guys want to see my face. Which I don't know why people like seeing faces, but there you go. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry this one took so long. Pretty much, I'm, hopefully the next episode won't be as long. I'm going to try to limit them to maybe, like, 25 minutes or 30 but anyways, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I need to think of an outro thing like power up mushroom. But yeah, that was lame. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Good night.